Stems are a crucial part of plants, serving as the main structural support and conduit for nutrients and water. They can be classified into various types based on their structure, function, and growth habits. Here are the main types of stems. Let's discuss them in detail. Herbaceous stems are soft, green, and flexible stems. Typically they are not woody and are usually found in non-woody plants. Herbaceous stems are found in sunflowers, beans, and many annual plants. Woody stems are hard, rigid, and often covered in bark. They are found in trees, shrubs, and other perennial plants. These stems provide structural support and protection. Examples include oak trees, roses, and pines. Next is underground stems. Underground stems are of four types, rhizomes, tubers, corms, and bulbs. Rhizomes are the horizontal stems that grow underground. They store nutrients and can give rise to new shoots. For example, ginger, and ferns. Tubers are swollen, fleshy underground stems that store nutrients, such as potatoes, and yams. Corms are short, vertical, swollen underground stems that store food. Like crocus and gladiolus, bulbs are composed of layered fleshy leaves that encase a central stem. For example, onions, and tulips. Next, we have aerial stems. Aerial stems are divided into climbing stems, tendrils, and stolons. Climbing stems are the stems that climb on other plants or structures, such as vines like ivy, and grapevines. Tendrils are specialized stems that wrap around objects for support. Examples include peas and cucumbers. Stolons or runners are the horizontal stems that grow above ground and can produce new plants at nodes. For example, strawberry plants, and spider plants. The next one is subterranean stems. These are the creeping stems that grow horizontally just below the soil surface, similar to rhizomes but often less pronounced. For example, grasses, and some mint species. Then, we have specialized stems, such as thorns, cladodes, and succulent stems. Thorns are modified stems that protect the plant from herbivores. Examples include bougainvillea and honey locust. Cladodes are flattened stems that resemble and function like leaves, such as asparagus, and cacti. Succulent stems are thickened, fleshy stems adapted to store water, such as in cacti, and some euphorbias. The last one is cordex stems. They are thickened, often woody stems found at the base of certain plants. They are usually found in some tropical and desert plants. They store water and nutrients. They are found in palms and CY cads. Understanding these types of stems helps in identifying plants, understanding their growth patterns, and appreciating their adaptations to different environments. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching.